Guys, welcome to Kingfisher's Bait and uh, Trace Clinic. Uh, I'm going to be doing the Drift Sardine uh, Double Hook Trace. Very simply, what we require, obviously your normal utensils that you use for making the traces, your round nose pliers, flat pliers, side cutters. Our Kingfisher 40 pound nylon coated wire. Our Hoodlum 3 O's, which is our front hook. 16 kilo Kingfisher nylon. Our 79568 needle point hooks. Today I'm going to be using four rows. I'm just going to grab two of those out of here quickly. So double hook, needle point, makes life easy. Small sinker. Okay, grab myself a bit of wire here. This is our fish mate, 40 pound. Give yourself a reasonable uh, amount to play with to start off with. One of our 3 O hoodlums. To start off with, we take our fish mate 40 pound nylon coated wire, insert it through the eye of the hook, and what we're going to do is a figure of eight. Now instead of with nylon we do it three times, with wire we only do it twice. So here we go, once, twice, take the tag end through the back. Open up the figure of eight. There you can see the figure of eight forming very nicely. There we go. And the best way to do it is to actually put your fingers inside the actual loop. Take our pliers and pull the knot reasonably tight. You can see now it's actually come tight. We then lubricate it. Exactly the same as we do with the nylon. Very important when it comes to this part of it is not to pull. You actually slide the knot down. There we go. Slide the knot down. Grab it and we just give it a little bit of a tug. Do that again. We just give it a bit of a tug. There we go. So your knot has now come tight. What we do, cut off the tag end there. So that's pretty much what we've done. We now take our second hook. We go through the top of the actual um, hook and we keep it in line. Very important that you keep it in line for this trace. There we go. And now what we're going to do, I'm just going to run this around. Is pinch the wire. We're now going to take the tag end and wrap it around five times. One, two, three, four, five times. And on the fifth time, we're going to go through the top of the eye of the hook. Always work from the top down. There we go. So that's all we're doing. A normal snell. And if you're worried about that snell coming loose, all we do is we take a lighter and we just melt the plastic ever so slightly. So I'm just going to hold on to here. There we go. Now that knot won't come loose at all. Next step is to take our nylon. This is our Kingfisher 16 kilo. And we're going to tie a figure of eight. So all I'm going to do is with the nylon, around three times. One, two, three times. Tag end through the three loops and open it up, form a figure of eight. There we go. Very simple, very easy. We do exactly the same with the wire as we did with the nylon, except we go twice. Okay, so we're going to go around my finger once, twice. Take the wire through the tag end, open it up. There's the figure of eight forming. Pull tight, lubricate, slide down, 
done. All we do now is cut off the tag ends. So that's pretty much what we've done, guys. We've got wire all the way through to the figure of eight. Now, we give ourselves about 50 centimeters of nylon. We then take our hoodlum hook. And again, we go through the eye of the hook from the top down. And I always like to measure my size of my trace to the bait we're going to be throwing. So I'm just going to quickly grab a sardine. Okay. So there's our sardine. I'm going to set my hook to the length where I want it to sit. As you can see over there, that's a perfect length. I'm now going to snell the nylon. So all we do as is exactly the same as what we do with the wire. We just wrap it around the eye of the hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. With nylon, we go a lot more than what we do with wire. And again, back through the eye, downwards, and pull tight. It's as simple as that, guys. I then take my little barrel sinker. And again, it depends on the current. What size sinker? Lighter is always better, but if there's a big surge in the water, obviously you don't want your uh, sardine washing out. Um, you want it to get below the waves, so yeah, a little quarter ounce, half ounce is ideal for this. We then take our Kingfisher barrel swivel. And attach it to the end of our trace. One, two, three times, forming a figure of eight. Slide it back down, pull tight. Okay, so there is our completed drift bait sardine trace. Simple as that, guys. The sinker, as it goes down, will pull the sardine down under the this current. And of course, you keeping tension on it will bring it up. Simple as that, guys. Guys, that is the drift sardine trace. Now all I'm gonna do is show you how to rig it. For this, we need our sardine, we need our trace, and we need some Kingfisher, um, yeah. We need some Kingfisher cotton. This is a latex cotton, medium, Okay, guys, our Kingfisher latex cotton. What we do with our first hook is insert it just behind the tail, running around, uh, running along the backbone and take it out. We take the second one just behind it, run it along the actual backbone, slide our hook down, take our lead hook, which is our hoodlum 3.0. And you wanna go pretty much where the middle of that eye is and come out the top of the head. Pretty much in line with the eye, coming out the top of the head because that's the hardest part, that little head part there. So we insert it and straight through the top of that head. There we go. And that's pretty much what the trace looks like. We then take our latex cotton and we're just going to bind it over there. Right, there we go. One, two, three. Just to stop the hook from actually moving. So there is our drift sardine. So it's simple as that, guys. So all we've done is gone behind the R and in front of the R to stop the hoodlum from actually moving. Shad obviously eat from the back, it's a tailor, it loves eating the tail part of the actual sardine first. So he'll come there eat there. If you do miss him, you've still got a secondary hook that he'll come back and eat the next part of it, which is the next back part. The reason we use that hoodlum hook 
It's a very thick hook. It doesn't tear out as easily as if I used a thinner gauge hook. And also, hoodlums are extremely strong hooks. Short shank, so you, if you see, uh, it sits almost perfectly in line with the mouth area. And that's the reason we use it. It's just one of those hooks that are perfectly designed for head baits. As you can see, the head area there. So yeah, simple as that, guys. There's our drift sardine bait for shad fishing. There we go. Guys, what makes the drift sardine shad trace so successful is you're covering a lot of water. You're throwing it out and you're retrieving it slowly. So you're throwing it 30, 40 meters and you're winding it in. You're throwing it 30, 40 meters and winding it in. You're covering a bigger area than, for instance, a static bait, which you'd throw and sit and wait for the shad to find you. You actually go and find the shad. That's the nice part about a drift sardine. And also, it gets it just below the surface. It looks very natural as it's drifting along, compared to something that's sitting in a fixed position. That's why drift sardine works so well for shad, guys. Get out there, catch lots of shad.